All right, so what I'd like to do is uh, place the trees in their respective homes prior to us digging any holes. So this is what we did. We kind of like outlined the trees that are a little more sensitive, like closer to the, the other trees because they'll provide a canopy above it. We might have to shade them a little bit more in the summer, but then we put the ones out here, the peaches, that are gonna get a little bit more sun. If we still have to throw some shade on them for this summer, that's okay. We're gonna get a nice little pathway right through here. That is going to be this big apple. So we're gonna put the apple there. We've got another apple there. Give it a little extra shade from the other trees. And then the Pakistani mulberry, and then a peach, and then the ma mangoes. So, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna get digging. All right, so we got the holes dug and some of these holes are pretty big. Um, you know, this one's a little bit more round than I'd like it to be, but as you can kind of see over here, it's a little more squared off. I kind of like the square holes a lot more so roots don't become root bound. So I'll probably end up squaring that hole off a little bit more and a few of these other ones, but this one's a little bit more square, but I'll probably give it a few more edges. Um, definitely, you know, a few more edges in there and there too. You don't want them like this because that's just like a pot in the ground, like a clay pot, and it could get root bound. So you really want to make it more of a square. Um, kind of see on this one, got some nice edges. This is a huge hole. I mean, let me get in it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty deep <laughs> down to the feet. Yeah, it's above my knees here. <laughs> so it's pretty deep. Uh, but that is actually for this 25 gallon mango. So the 25 gallon mango is huge. So we had to really dig a really big hole <laughs> for this one. And then over here, we got the other ones. Really started getting a lot more square over here. Nice, good square hole here too. And then over here, you know, definitely just a nice square hole there. And this is squared off. The cool thing about this property is that it's irrigated. I mean, you know, if you guys get a chance to buy an irrigated lot, do it because these plants are gonna get just soaked and flooded. And that's what I'm gonna be I'm mimicking in my yard. Um, but I have bubblers, and, I, and so when I got a water, I'm using a lot of water, and irrigation's like a lot less expensive. So, um, the one thing that we're gonna be finishing up with, is you kinda see around here, I'm digging that, that trench around the outside. Um, I'm gonna probably go four or five inches deep, and then since this is irrigated, that's gonna lock in the wood chips around the top of the, the well, and, uh, and that's gonna make it so they don't float away when uh, it's irrigated. So just something to think about. You don't really have to do this kind of stuff, but, uh, but I kind of like to just engineer the, the soil a little bit more underneath the ground. So when you put the wood chips on, you don't even know it's there, but uh, it'll be very functional and the trees will like it. So here's a little kind of more of a close up of kind of what I'm doing. You come down here, you dig the hole, and then on top, I just take that top layer off. And then, then the wood chips are just gonna fill up this whole berm in here up to this. And we'll, then we'll mound it from there. But when the water comes and floods, it's not gonna wash the wood chips away. And then the other thing we did today was we took the pile of compost that we got yesterday and we mixed it. We mixed it with a lot of native dirt. We mixed it with all the worm castings. We mixed it with the mycorrhiza and, uh, and the rock dust. Um, and we just mixed this whole pile. So now we can actually take this pile and just straight plant, just use it in the wheelbarrow and put it in the holes. So it's a really good uh, kind of way to mix a bunch of dirt at once. You just get one pile of compost, throw all your amendments in it, and then you just keep using that. We kept one bag of worm castings so we can top all the plants. Uh, we trimmed back this pomegranate and staked it. it looks pretty nice. It's uh, really gonna pop, 25 gallon pomegranate. It's huge, um, but that's a big one. And then we got all these bare root grapes potted up. 
So there's a whole bunch of different varieties of grapes here today and very, very excited about them. Some really rare varieties in there too. So we got them all potted up and uh, ready to just start growing because we don't know where we're gonna put them in the ground yet. Here's a few more grapes that we weren't able to, we actually ran out of pots. So um, I just put them in some soil, the roots, and we're gonna wait on on putting these in pots until we pot until we plant some of these trees the seven gallon trees over there and then we're going to use those pots to pot these up and then over here we got all of these potted in some amazing soil mixtures we got some raspberries some blackberries we got a whole bunch of blueberries over here all these bat all these bags and then we got some mulberry bushes some pomegranates another mulberry bush and some more pomegranates it was a really great day uh, we got a lot of work done, but you know, this is a, already, it's been two days, so it's going to take a third day to get this done. This was a big project. Um, had a little bit of help digging some holes. We got this huge pile of wood chips right there, and that is going to be the key ingredient on the top. And we've also been watering all these. We flood them, and then we mix up a little bit of fish emulsion and seaweed in a five gallon bucket, and then we give them a dose of that right after we plant them. So we water them and soak them really, really well. And then we put a layer of wood chips on top and then, and then we uh, add one like gulp of fish emulsion and seaweed so uh, into the soil just to get everything active and going. So that's it, that's the, day, the day's work. We're gonna kind of finish this up probably tomorrow um, and we're gonna get another thing of compost and uh, another truckload of it. Super stoked about that. And then, um, and then we're gonna plant these poinciennas in the front, the ones we got from Seamus. So this yard's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to take you guys along for the ride. All right, well, until next time, if you guys like this video, give me a big green thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell button so you guys can see uh, when I post new stuff. I just wanna say thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters. It uh, means the world to me. You guys support me. Uh, if you guys do want to support me, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and let's plant some trees together. So, all right, guys. Well, until next time, develop awesome skills. Love you guys.